almost by like unanimous decision 2016 was like the worst year ever like I was scrolling through my Facebook memories trying to figure out if I felt this way about 2015 and 2014 but like it seems like it was just last year like this year last year I don't know <laughs> like a lot of good things happened in 2016 but like I think it was overshadowed by like really really shitty stuff that happened so I'm trying to do a little positive spin on this type of video that everybody's doing at this type of time of year and I'm gonna be talking about things that I would like to keep in 2017 from 2016 you know like I'm trying to be positive or whatever <laughs> the first thing that we should keep in 2017 is snapchat filters the flower crown filter, the dare filter with the funny little voice, the puppy filter, all these things that people used to call whole filters in 2016. We're getting rid of that title and we're keeping these things because they're hella fun. They make you look hella cute. That one that contours the hell out of your nose. Like, those are the things that make people happy that we need to keep in 2017. Because 2017 is going to be a fully positive experience full of positivity and cute snapchat filters that are gonna help me to slay. <laughs> the next thing that we're gonna keep is ebonics like words like bae like, I don't even know if all of these words are ebonics technically but like slang words like bae, fleek, it's a, it's a joke I saw this like tweet thing on my Instagram where somebody was like we need to leave Issa in 2016 and somebody replied to that tweet was like so we'll go keep champs <laughs> when I saw that I nearly died but yeah like you know those that meme was like it's a joke like I love that I'm like bae fleek or whatever people are always so mad and going on the most way about like how do people understand and use these words but they can't use words like they and there and there and here and here and your and your I'm like bay and fleek sound nothing alike there and there sound exactly alike and the only difference is when you're writing it so if you're not used to writing you're not going to be all whatever and then there's the idea where you can where you can't use words like bay fleek is a thought whatever dab you can't use words like that and be an intelligent human being no boo boo that's incorrect i can be hella woke and tell you how lit that party was last night so don't even try me we're keeping those words in 2017 and we're gonna make new words so that's the thing yeah we're gonna make new words that are hella great bra <laughs> i tried to use as much as i could another thing that we're gonna keep in 2017 is fleeky brows and that cheek highlight glow like today it's not all that turned up but we're keeping those things in 2017 you know why because why not like I am so tired of people like why would you pluck out or shave out the eyebrows that God naturally gave you to draw them on I pluck out the hairs that I don't want from the sections that I don't want and I fill in the parts that I do want so I'm hella fleek and turned up like People are like, oh, my eyebrows may not be on fleek, but I have the grace of God, and I am intelligent. I'm like, these things are not mutually exclusive. A woman can be both interested in makeup and beauty and still be into getting crunk and fleek and turn it up and still be interested in working hard and making money and getting an education and still have different values. So what we're doing is we're getting rid of these false dichotomies, we're keeping the fleeky brows, we're keeping the cheek highlight glow, and we're not going to think that because you are one, you cannot be another thing. 2017, positivity. We're going to let people enjoy things, like, we're going to let people enjoy things. And speaking of letting people enjoy things, another thing that we're going to keep in 2017 are things like lights up shoes and Pokemon Go. I see so many people like, oh, well, grown ass men wearing lights up shoes or people walking into dangerous areas trying to play Pokemon Go. Why can't we play things that we like to play? Why can't we wear shoes that light up and go to parties and dance and just have hella fun? Why? 
Like, I don't get it. Like, I think it's another one of the false dichotomous thing where we think that, oh, because I like to wear light up shoes, it means that I can have a stimulating conversation or it means I can't be serious because I like to be silly sometimes. But why won't we let people enjoy things? We are gonna in 2017. And another thing that I want to see in 2017 is black girls winning. Like, I want to see some Serena. I want to see some Beyonce. I want to see some Sky Jack... Bruh. I want to see some Sky Jackson. I want to see those McClure twins. Like, I just want to see it, black girls win. And, like, I was on the Afropunk page today, and there was this girl with the septum piercing and then her nostril pierce, and I'm like... And she had this giant afro because it was like an afro of the day post. And I'm like, yes, black girls, stay winning, stay fleek. I'm like, I love seeing people with the same piercings as, as me, just like fleeking, like, yes, black girls, slam. I'm like, the afro thing, like, I want to see more afros and locks and like these amazing things and like hair goals in 2017. Not to mean that you can't cream your hair if you want to cream your hair. Not to say you can't wear a wig if you want to wear a wig. <laughs> but like, it's just hair and like i just want to see giant afros that i can aspire to in 2017. the thing that i want to bring into 2017 is the idea of having a new year's resolution i'm so tired of people like oh every year you're gonna be like new year new me blah 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 blah, blah and it doesn't mean anything these people are trying to better their lives and trying to like oh the new year is here, I'm going to make these changes for my life and I'm going to be this kind of positive and I'm going to grow in this way. I would just give these people shit for no reason. Like, yeah, like I posted a status about this on Facebook today and people were like, oh, um, sometimes they just use it to just talk about it on social media, but... So, let people, like, let the people that genuinely want to make a change in their life, make a change in their life and let the people that just want to say things, say things. We're gonna let people... We're gonna let people <laughs> enjoy themselves, change themselves, plan for betterment of themselves. And we're not going to sit down and hope for them to fail or wait on them to fail just because they wanted to make a new resolution and make a change in their life at this time. We know, yes, that we can change our life any day, any week, any hour, but like, that's the whole thing about it, about new year's like people buy presents for christmas they make new year's resolutions for new year's like why like it's just an event where people want to say things and do things and i don't i don't see why we're so hard on people that want to improve themselves for the better in the new year and i think that's it for my list mm, yeah so, like i've never really done this before but like i'm gonna ask you guys to comment like what do you want to see stay from 2016 into 17 like what do you want to see continue because we're speaking positivity and whatever into the new year happy new year <laughs>